Welcome back. Today we are talking about the use of artificial insemination. So that's AI in suckler herds. Now in the UK at least, AI isn't traditionally as common in suckler herds as it is in dairy herds. Why is that? There are a number of reasons. Lack of handling during the summer when spring calving cows typically are mated in contrast to dairy cows which would be coming through the parlour at least once a day, the relative docility of beef bulls compared to dairy bulls, and so on. I'll say now, it's not for everyone. If cows truly are unhandleable at their summer grazing, it's not going to work. Similarly, for organic producers, AI is allowed, but synchronization isn't because of the hormones involved. In most contexts, beef cattle AI is what's called fixed time AI. That means the females in question have had their estrus, their fertile period, synchronized with the use of hormones. That means they can all be artificially inseminated or served at the same time without someone having to watch them twice a day, every day, and not have individual trips to serve each cow. Now, while it isn't for every suckler farmer, it probably warrants consideration by most. Here, I'm focusing on the commercial suckler farmer, or if you're in North America, that would be what you guys call cow calf. It has plenty of applications in pedigree cattle as well. The focus on different benefits will probably be slightly different. So, what are the benefits? Number one, this is the one that everyone thinks about, it's access to superior genetics. So AI suddenly gives you access to a great host of different bulls of different breeds. What exactly superior genetics means is really up to you and how you judge that, whether that be by phenotype, how the animal looks, or by its relative genetic merit. We talked about that slightly in the video about EBVs. That is also up to you, how you judge that superior genetics. Regardless, you've suddenly got access to a massive range of different bulls. And this is worth saying, it's variety. So there's nothing to stop you trying several different bulls within one season. That means you can try several different approaches without having to buy several different bulls. That's the first benefit. The second relates to the timing of calving. So you remember AI, we've generally synchronized those cattle. That means the calving tends to occur in a much tighter pattern because the estrus has been synchronized. That should make best use of your resources. And that means housing, that means feed, that means bedding, that means labor. If you've got stock people permanent or hired to help with the calving period, it's gonna make more efficient use of their time. And importantly, as well as being condensed through the synchrony, cows or heifers that hold to AI, typically, depending on when you serve them, will calve at the start of calving. Now that has several different benefits itself. First of all, the calves that are born at the start of calving will be bigger by the time it comes to weaning. If you sell weaned calves, they're gonna be worth more. And even if you keep them on longer, it means they're gonna be set up better for the next stage wherever you end up selling them. But perhaps more importantly, from the cow's point of view or the heifer's point of view, it gives her a lot longer to recover from that calving to then get back in calf next year. It gives her reproductive tract specifically more time to recover. And that can be really important, especially for heifers who can struggle after having their first calf. And the third benefit of AI in suckler herds relates to bull power. So lots of UK herds, and this will be the same in Ireland and across much of Europe, are relatively small. They might only have 30 or 40 suckler cows. In practice, that often means one stock bull, one breeding bull. Some might have even fewer. So AI represents an opportunity to eliminate the need for a stock bull altogether and is certainly better from a disease point of view than borrowing a bull, which may go around several different farms, carrying who knows what diseases with him. In these instances in small herds, it saves not only investing, but housing and handling the bull required. Going back to those herds, 
30 or 40 cattle. You may have a great stock bull that you really like. At some point, he's going to start coming back on his daughters. That's a problem. It may entail replacing a good stock bull that you like, that you've invested in earlier than you otherwise would. Introduce AI into the mix. Suddenly, you can AI his daughters. You can keep him going back on the cows he's unrelated to and get the most out of him while avoiding inbreeding or line breeding, whatever you call it, using your AI for those related heifers. As I said, that saves you the expensive bill of buying a new bull and you keep the bull you know and that you like for longer. The other thing about these herds that have one bull is that you might want a slightly different type of animal to generate your replacements than you do your terminal calves, your big sale calves. Or you may want a slightly different bull for your cows than you would want for your heifers. So for example, for your heifers, you may want something that's slightly easier calving. You may not want to invest in a second bull to bring those alternative attributes. AI, again, allows you to cherry pick the bulls you want. So those are the benefits. We'll cover other aspects another time, the practicalities, how to improve conception rates, different synchronization programs, DIY, AI. In the meantime, please ask your vet, ask your local AI technician about more details. In my opinion, it's something that's really underutilized in the UK. Since my practice introduced a synchronized AI package a few years ago, around about 40 or 45% of our clients have tried it. Now that's not every year, that's certainly not every cow, but most are finding a niche for it, whether it's for heifers, whether it's for introducing slightly different genetics, whether it's to get an Angus premium, there is a role for it on most farms. If you like that, like the video, hit subscribe, press the little bell so you don't miss any new videos, and please leave a comment, positive, negative, it's all really useful. Thank you, over and out.